Hello, and welcome back to another episode of The Vlogs. I'm Austin, and I am on a quest to achieve a one-armed pull-up. And for today's video, I'm just gonna be covering what I like to do in between my calisthenics strength training days. Today, I'm just gonna be going out for a nice, long cardio row. And I definitely wanna talk about cardio and our perceptions of cardio and what cardio, I guess, really means. And because it's gonna be a big rowing day, I've got my rowing spandex on, so uh, I'm pumped. And I just had a smoothie about an hour ago, and so now I'm just gonna pack up all the camera equipment uh, because I'm actually gonna film this workout and post it onto my main training page, my main fitness page, Training Tall, if you didn't know I had that, if you're a new visitor to the vlog channel. So I'll show you how I set up and record those style workouts. We're gonna have a little cardio chat too. So it's time to go remote and find a nice place to row. And luckily, and I've said this once, I'll say it again, Concept 2 is awesome because of how easy it is to transfer it. You know, if I was shooting a video inside my little studio room and I wanna go bring the rower outside somewhere, what's nice is it just breaks into two parts, just like that, and you just put it away and you're done. And as loud as the Concept 2 can be, that convenience of being able to just take it apart and put it together is just unlike any other rowing machine. All right, time to load up. And I guess if I'm going out in the public, I guess I'll put a shirt on. But I'm not putting anything over the shorts. Also, do you like the socks? Oh, and so here's what I'm gonna bring to help film and record the row. First off, I have my external microphone. So this records the audio that clips onto my shirt, and that way, no matter how far away the camera is from filming me rowing, you're only gonna hear mainly the sound of my voice and just a little bit of the noise from the actual rowing machine itself. And this is what I use to record most of my like structured YouTube videos. I'm also gonna be bringing my GoPro to capture the row itself. Now, why the GoPro? It's because this thing records for like an hour straight if needed, whereas traditional DSLR cameras typically don't do that and they usually cap off after like 29 minutes or so. And so because I'm gonna plan on doing a big row today, shooting for two by a two by 20, shooting for two by 20 minutes, I wanna be able to get that all in one straight shot. So that's why I'm gonna use the GoPro to help me film that. And then I've got my mini flexible tripod, which I'm just gonna put right in the grass. And it's got this little phone slash camera holder. And this is actually an easy way for me to just slip in the GoPro and have it record like that. And I got a lot of great positive feedback on having my, on having my ERG data shown. So that's the app that you can connect with Concept2. And so I'm gonna bring my phone to screen record the ERG data screen and then so that way I can edit it onto the video. That way you can see the pace that I'm rowing at if you're following along. And again, that workout's not gonna be in this video. It's gonna be on my separate channel, but just thought I'd show you how I, what I use for it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna bring some headphones too. And these AirPods are freaking awesome. These things are great. And you know, some people like to have the, um, like the squishy ear things that sit in your ear. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'll post a little photo right there. Those things fall right out of my ears because my ears get so sweaty. But AirPods are awesome. I just like that thick plastic. I don't know, it feels great. It doesn't hurt my ears and it just stays in. So we're gonna pop in some Soundgarden or some Black Label Society while rowing. It's gonna be a good time. And I'm definitely not one to drink water while exercising for the most part. So I'm just gonna down the rest of this big glass of water and we'll get rowing. <sighs> Oops, I spilled. And before we head out, we've got the chapping lips. And you know what? Carmex is a miracle chapstick. It's unreal how normal like chapstick can like just keep your lips chapped forever, yet one application of Carmex is like a thousand applications of anything else. And sure, it doesn't taste that great, but it works. I kind of like the taste. Oh yeah, and props to Shimano for this awesome drawstring bag. I've had this thing for like four or five years now. I got it for free at a at the San Diego Crew Classic rowing event um, just for rowing a 500 meter under a 125 split. 
I think. And this bag is perfect for all my camera stuff, so it works great. Shout out to Shimano. All right, the C2 is loaded, and it's go time. All right, so on my way to my rowing spot at the park, and I've made a grave mistake. I just had a smoothie about an hour ago for my smoothie drinkers. What mistake have I made leaving the house, going into nature without, well, I just spoiled it. I forgot to go pee and I really have to go pee. And I think I might just have to hold it. My smoothies are big. My bladder is small, but I will do what has to be done. And my oh my, it is just a beautiful day out to row. It's about 75 right now, blue skies. It's gonna be a good day. And I sure hope you're having a great day as well. Remember, positive attitude overcomes any circumstance, especially the bad ones. So stay positive out there. And let's get ready to row. Well, I found a great spot, but I really, really have to pee. <laughs> so before sitting down for this row, which is gonna be 40 minutes long, uh, I gotta find a bathroom. And I have found a bathroom across the way. So you're not gonna get to see any peeing action, but just know the bladder will be emptied. Well, that was the most horrifying restroom I've seen in a really long time. Um, but the deed has been done. I made it out all right. What are your thoughts on public restrooms? I don't really have a problem, at least with number one. I would not have number twoed in that room. But honestly, if it was like a library, Starbucks, a nice place, just drop it down, you know? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, good to go. So like I mentioned earlier, what I'm about to do is a 40 minute row. And I decided I'm gonna do the 40 minutes in one straight shot. But you know, when it comes to cardio training, there's a few different ways that you can do so, right? You have high intensity interval training, which generally involves like super high intense bouts of effort, followed by like rest and recovery. And you know, you can balance that however you want to. More rest, less rest. You know, it kind of balances itself out as far as if you go harder, you need longer breaks, etc. But there's also what's called LIS, low intensity steady state. And that's gonna be the main focus of my cardio workouts, especially with a strength training goal. It's really important to remember that if you're prioritizing strength, that you do wanna give your body that rest and recovery that it needs after really intense strength training sessions. And so if you're trying to get stronger at things, but you still wanna include some cardiovascular work, you wanna be working on more longer duration, low intensity cardio, that isn't gonna be having you peak your performance on these intervals, and then with those rest breaks in between, you know, if we can keep our heart rate elevated just slightly, just into a good aerobic level, and hold that for a long period of time, we're gonna get some good cardiovascular benefits. And if you're someone who's looking for weight loss, fat loss, you don't necessarily need to be doing high intensity cardio intervals to achieve that fat loss. You know, when it comes to losing body fat, you have to be in a caloric deficit. So you need to be burning more calories than you're consuming. And you can burn a lot of calories doing low intensity, steady state cardio, especially if you're doing it for 40 plus minutes, you're gonna burn a good chunk of calories. And as long as you're not consuming those calories back again, it can help you really achieve that caloric deficit. And so, you know, when it comes to just an overall fitness program, I think it's important to include both high intensity interval training workouts, but also not to shy away from low intensity steady state workouts because they give you an opportunity to you know when it comes to like rowing for instance really practice good form at a good sustainable intensity and it's a great time to listen to an audiobook listen to a new album or music you haven't listened to in a while it's a good time to sort of zone out just chill at a nice aerobic pace burn some calories and get it done. It's just important to know that you don't have to do high intensity cardio all the time to achieve weight loss goals. And again, if you're trying to prioritize strength training and your body strength, you don't wanna be maxing out your body during cardio intervals. You wanna get some aerobic work in because it's good for your heart, it's good for your soul, 
but low intensity steady state is where it's at. And so just setting up to film the row, again, external mics are awesome. You know, as far as being able to get as far away from a camera as you want to, with the sound still being in your face, kind of unlike how it is right now, that's what's great about these little mics. And then clip onto your belt, your pants, whatever you want. And then you just clip it at the top of your shirt or a tie if you're a professor or professional. And we'll get some great audio right here. And here's a cool little test for you. Right now I'm just speaking into my Rode mic that's attached to my camera. Here I am right in front of your face. But if I back up and I'm way over here, you can't hear me as if I was right in your face. And now I'm recording through the clip-on mic and whether I'm in front of the camera like this or if I'm back to the spot way over here, it doesn't sound like I've moved away from the camera. And that is what makes them great to film these rowing workouts. All right, so I've got my setup for the workout. I'm gonna do 40 minutes. If you're interested in checking out that workout, me guiding you through it, you can check that out over on Training Tall, my main fitness page. Um, and I'll catch up with you here after the 40 minutes is up. Oh, hey again. Just finished up the 40 minute row and it was a good row. A couple frustrating things though, I don't know what it was, but you know when shoes get old and they just get like these little tiny, they get these rips on the inside and so like it was like this little piece of plastic just digging in to my ankle the whole freaking time and look, now it's all, I don't know if you can see, it's a little raw right here but it's just like this nagging, just a little nag sensation. And you know, I was on camera, I was recording the whole thing. I thought I was still recording. And so it's just in those moments where like, there's nothing I can do. I guess I'll just die. Nah, I'm just complaining. But more to complain about, I try to, to screen record my ERG data score, like I was talking about earlier. However, when I screen record, if someone calls me, then it stops the screen recording. And I was like 20 or like, like 22 minutes in and I got a phone call from just a risk, spam risk 1-800 number. Stopped the recording midway through and I just, I just found that out. And so, again, like I'm just, I'm trying to do my best. Like I'm trying to do the right thing and get everything set up and work well. And, oh, the GoPro's still going, whoops, whoops. I'm trying to do everything right and not everything can go perfectly according to plan and that's just part of it you know but I'm gonna put up what I got um, and I hope it's a good workout for people to follow along to if you're looking for my score on this again the, the goal with this with the low intensity steady state right is nice and chill nice and uh, you know you should be able to to put together chunks of sentences while you're working because it shouldn't be that intense but if you're curious here's my score so the workout was 40 minutes, two minutes at 18, two minutes at 20 strokes per minute, and then one minute at 22 strokes per minute, and then starting over. So it was like eight five minute chunks, and you know, held pretty consistent the whole way through. Felt pretty good. And if you check out the calories per hour setting, you can see that my overall pace was 1,000 calories per hour, and so in 40 minutes, that's 66%, wait, that's, yeah, 66% of 2,000 calories. And so there you go, right there, a big chunk of calories burned in a not super intense workout. So anyway, feeling good about the workout. Don't think that you always have to go as hard as possible on everything you do. Exercise isn't always about dying. And so yeah, it was a great workout to do in between these really intense strength training days. And so now I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna sit on my butt I'm gonna stretch it out while watching Sons of Anarchy. That's like the new show I like to watch. I know I'm kind of late to that show, but you know, stretching out and watching TV is always a good way to feed two birds with one scone. So you know what? Let's go home, let's stretch. Oh.
You know when you feel like you just get home and you just have to just rip all your clothes off? That's how I feel. And you know how else I feel? Not great because I just realized my mic probably wasn't plugged in all the way. And so the audio probably for this whole video has been complete crap. Wait, 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 I just checked the videos and the audio just got a little quiet. So I just gotta boost that up and hopefully it sounds okay. But I'm not nearly in as bad a mood as I thought it was going to be because I thought the audio was gonna be ruined. I've also got some grape nuts here and I'm gonna eat these and then stretch. And as we conclude the video, my question for you, if you made it to the end, is what is your favorite time of day? Are you a morning person? Are you a night owl? Hoo hoo! Do you like the afternoons, the late afternoons? What's the best time for you? Like, what's your jam time? What, what time do you feel the best at? For me, I like mornings. I don't like butt crack at dawn 5 a.m. necessarily, but a good 6.37, mm, a good start to the day, in my opinion. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this vlog today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know your favorite time of day if you made it to the end of the video. And of course, please, any feedback that you might have for me to help you make this more enjoyable, I'd love to hear your feedback. So thanks again. Be sure to subscribe for more if you're interested in these vlog style videos. Um, and be sure to check out Training Tall if you want more structured fitness video stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.